friends and family welcome each one of you back to nanaba's kitchen and if you're visiting for the first time as always a very warm welcome to you to my subscribers you all know how deep this love is today we are preparing both roots or puff puff and this is the dry kind it's a very simple easy recipe to replicate so stick around my mom used to make this a lot growing up and it was one of my childhood favorites my children currently love it you're gonna love it your children are gonna love it it's easy to do yes friends and family very excited to present this buffered recipe which is a popular pastry on every street in ghana you will find a buffered peddler and i used to indulge could not wait to get out of boarding school even for a brief moment to get my hands on one of them and get some fun ice ice cream or some fanta or coca-cola and just enjoy my life you know what i mean so this is my mom's recipe guys and i have embellished it just a little bit to make it a lot more special and richer also and to the side of your screen I have listed all of the ingredients I'm combining with the amounts as well as the sequence in which I'm actually combining these ingredients with emphasis on the word sequence so you notice that the yeast went in first followed by the sugar and then the flour and then i added the salt so that we create that delayed contact between the salt and yeast remember that yeast is alive and salt tends to kill it so it will destroy its actual power to really allow your dough to rise so you have to delay that contact then we also added our nutmeg followed by our baking soda. The purpose of the baking soda in this pastry is to really help the end product to be nice and fluffy and light. Then we added our egg and um, keep in mind that all of your wet ingredients have to be at room temperature. So you have to take it out of your refrigerator and let it rest till it's at room temperature before you start forming your dough. Then we added our sour cream, which is my secret ingredient. It's going to really bring that added richness to this pastry and then we also added our butter and then um, a vanilla extract or actually yes the vanilla extract and then we added our evaporated milk which also brings that extra added richness and then we added our water now the water also needs to be at room temperature guys and we ended up using 150 milliliters of water I had it in a measuring cup so I know exactly how much I added very important because you want your dough to be soft enough but not too soft and you certainly don't want it to be too hard so you have to add it in bits as I did and then mix it very well now if you don't have a machine to mix it no problem you can use your hands just remember to mix it well you have to knead it when the dough comes together you have to stretch and you have to pull that's how you end up with the um, gluten being perfectly developed you need the gluten to be developed in this pastry then you stretch it out then you cut them into small pieces about the same size throughout and then mold it into this perfect ball and set it on a flour sheet pan because as it rises it will stick to the pan if it's not floured surface so make sure that you do that and it was a perfect day when I made this pastry because it was nice and warm outside and I wanted a leathery dry layer outside each ball so I, I let it proof outside and what's proofing proofing is when you let the dough rise it took about an hour for that to happen and as you can see see those cracks on there that's perfect because when you end up frying it it does not absorb the oil and that's what I love about the dry version of puff puff or both fruit so you want to fry it on medium heat you don't want your oil to be too hot because your dough will cook only on the outside or it will appear as though it's cooked but on the inside of it raw and nasty so you don't want that so fry it and overcrowd your pot in this instance that's perfectly okay because each both fruit is supporting the other so it's a lot easier to turn each both fruit as it cooks so you want this nice perfect golden brown color and as it cooks you just remove them and set them aside and oh, continue to overcrowd your pot if you have more to fry set them in as you remove each one that's already cooked 
so you can continue with that overcrowded port, uh, pot uh, situation. Just so it's a lot easier to turn. So perfect, it took about 10 minutes to fry these beauties to perfection. And it was just the smell of it, that vanilla extract and the inclusion of the nutmeg, mm, heavenly, decadence, just name it. It was just delightful. So there you go, it's all fried, 10 minutes is all it took. Let's check. Look at it, cooked perfectly on the inside, light and fluffy, crunchy on the outside. Guys, try this recipe, you're gonna love it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and click on that bell. Thank you for watching Naked, a great day, and as always, have fun, especially in that kitchen.